Hello artists! Today we're going to explore by mixing colors. These are the materials that you need. You need paper. We're using white paper or very clear paper or very light color paper for this exploration. I found some notebook paper that will work fine. I also found some notebook paper that is already used. It has some writing on it. That is not a problem. You can always turn it over and use the back. And today I'm going to use this piece of paper. It's just regular copy paper. And I'm going to use it as my, my base, my background. You will also need crayons, but only three colors. If you notice, I have blue, yellow, and red. Do you remember what is the special name that we give to these three colors? the primary colors. These are the first colors and their superpower is that they can mix almost every other color. So we're going to try to mix as many colors as we can. I would like to start with the darker color, the darkest one. I would like to start with blue, but you can begin with any color that you would like to use first. So I'm gonna take them away from my paper, I'm gonna hold them here and I wonder what will happen if I start pressing very hard. I'm gonna press very, 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 very hard. Not too hard so I don't break the crayon, but do you notice how I'm pressing? And I'm gonna move my arm a little bit slider. I'm gonna put less pressure, even less. Do you notice what is happening? I notice that it's very, bright, very dark, and it's a little bit lighter here, but I use less pressure. I would like to put blue everywhere in my paper, and I would like to move my arm in different ways, maybe going around and around and around, maybe walking a little bit in different places, and also I'm going to go back and forth on this side of the paper, but I'm going from top to bottom. So I have blue in different places on my paper. What color should I use next? Let me try yellow. Do you remember what happens when I put the yellow and the blue together? But before I mix them, I'm going to use yellow all over my paper without touching the blue yet. They can be very close together, but they are not touching yet. Let me try. Remember that I can use a lot of pressure or just a little bit less pressure. So I have a lot of yellow all over my paper. Let me see what happens when I put the yellow and the blue together. Yes, we mix green. I haven't tried red yet, so let me try red. Do you remember what happens when I put the red and the yellow together? Let me try. And very lightly. Let me try a little bit harder here in the middle. Ooh, I think it mixes better when you press both of them harder. Yes, I get orange. Do you remember what happens when I put red and blue together? Let me try. Yes, I got purple. What about if we mix them all the three of them together? Let me try. Let me see if I can get a little bit of brown. You notice I'm going in different directions. Artis, so today we use three crayons. 
red, yellow, and blue, the primary colors. And we mix a lot of different colors. These are just some of the colors that I was able to mix. I'm sure you will be able to find a lot of more colors just using the red, yellow, and blue crayons. It is your turn. Please try, and I would love to see the work that you're making this week.